on a topic that says, the new dam for your success. The new dam for your success. And our theme for this month is, I am soaring higher in life where the devil cannot withstand my glory. I take it again. I am soaring higher in life where the devil cannot withstand my glory. Say after me. I am soaring higher in life. No, let's take it this way. Let's take it this way. Let's take it this way. Say after me. I am soaring higher in life. I am soaring higher in life. Shout it. I am soaring higher in life. I am soaring higher in life. Where the devil, where the devil cannot withstand my glory. There is a place in God where the devil cannot withstand your glory. And that is where you are this season. Amen. So our topic for the month is the new dam for your success. Now, what is the meaning of this new dam? A new dam means, in this regard, means destroying the old record and setting up a new record. You know, when a chicken is hatched, he came out into a new world environment. It's a new beginning. It's a new world beginning. So this new dam for your success means it's a new beginning for your world success. You know, in success posit, it is only when you feel you have arrived that you have arrived. Okay? It is only when you say, I have, I have done, then you are done. But if you feel there is still more things to earn, you keep any and you keep aiming at it. George, I get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Creating new record and destroying the old ones that are not making sense. And man is the key factor in setting new record. Man is the word key factor in setting new world, new records. Man is the key factor. How much of discovery a man has made for himself? Okay? The, is dependent upon him. Is dependent upon him. So you are a key factor in your discovering the new dam. Amen. 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 No, you might have heard a lot of people say, I have done all I should do. I have tried. I have tried. <laughs> when you see people say like this, in most cases, they have not done the right thing. I have done all. I have done all. You know, it is the nature of man to always shift blame. You remember the Garden of Eden? When Adam and Eve committed that sin, and the master asked them, he, 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 he asked them, Adam, where are you? He said, I am naked. Have you eaten that fruit? He said, it is the woman you gave me. <laughs> In other words, it is God that is the cause of the world problem. The woman you gave me, if you didn't give me this woman, maybe I wouldn't have eaten it. Okay, that statement means God. Since you are not giving me this woman, have I eaten it? So man will always look for who to blame for his problems. That is the nature of man. Man likes shifting blames. And when God asks Eve, have you eaten the fruit? He said, it is the serpent. In other words, we have no business in this thing. It is you that caused these things. Are you getting it? So, whenever you see men say, I have done all things, I have done all, <laughs> watch well. There is something that you needed to do that you have not done. Because our God is so committed that when you pay your own part of the sacrifice, He is heavily committed in delivering unto your hands. As long as man keeps justifying himself, he will die a condemned human being. So it is not that it's not that you have used every key. Did you use the right key? <laughs> One day I was entering the church. I started opening. I was so surprised. I said, What is happening? Not knowing that I have not used the right key. But I have been struggling. See, when you use the right key, you will not struggle. Why we are struggling in life because we are not applying the right principles of life. Things are hard because we are not applying the right principles of a life. Mm -hmm. God is never at fault. He is never the cause of what we are passing through. Most times it's our ignorance, it's our ignorance. Not even devil. 
that is qualified to stop us is our ignorance of who we are. My prayer this morning is that God will open your spiritual eyes to always move in the right spiritual directions in the name of Jesus. Amen. He is there directing you, but it is your sole responsibility to kill in to the happenings of the moment. Our brother Job, as he kept, you know, justifying himself, he remained at a, as a spot. You know, Job at a time began to justify himself. And God asked him a question, where were you when I created the heavens? Where were you when I formed in your mother's bed? Where were you? And now he gets to realize himself. So God is not at fault in whatsoever you are passing through. He is not to be blamed in any way. There was a man in the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 20 to 21. We are going to read Mark chapter 10 verse 20 to 21. Verse 20 said, and he answered, and said unto him, Master, all these things I have observed from my youth. From my youth. 21. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, say, whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasures in heaven. And come, take up the cross and follow me. You see, this man said, I have done all. But Jesus said, one thing is said, lacking. Until that one thing is handled, the man's life will be in a mess. But it was unfortunate that that one thing wasn't handled in the life of this man. This man maybe would have been a substitute for Judas Iscariot. You know, he said, pick up your cross and follow me. Why? Because this man is called into the fold of following Jesus. You know, there was a time somebody also told Jesus, let me follow you. And the master said, stay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not everybody that is called into the ministry. Some are to be called to remain where they are. And some have higher calling. He said, save all. Because all these things are the hindrances. They pick up the cross and follow me. And the man was provoked. The man had done all. But one thing he did not also do. But he wanted the kingdom. But he was not ready to do it as commanded. And that was why the young man missed the kingdom. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't stand on the altar of self-justification. Be thirsty for divine revelation. That will offend the one thing that you lack. Be ready to embrace divine revelation. Revelation is the master key to open the way for you to see that one thing that you are lacking. Because that one thing you are lacking may be what is holding you. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, we are treating a subtopic that said how to use the power of your tongue. So we are highlighting this morning what your thoughts, how your thoughts can bring success to your life. Remember, the topic is the new dawn for your success. So we are going to have various topics under this. So today's topic, we are going to look at how the power of your thoughts can affect your success. How what you are thinking in your mind can affect your world success. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the school of success, your thoughts, listen to that. In the school of success, your thoughts constitute a very powerful key in actualizing your dream for success. Your thoughts play a vital role to determine how successful you are going to be in the school of success. So, the master key, one of them, to open up your way for success is what your thought. Is what your thought. Praise the Lord. Joshua 1 verse 8. Joshua 1 verse 8. Joshua 1 verse 8. It reads, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy word mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein, there in day and what night, that thou mightst observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then they shall have good word success. You will meditate. You will meditate. 
you will study the word, you will think about what you are studying, and you will use it to shape your life. Praising the Lord. Hallelujah. That is meditation. You are taught. Now listen to me. Every man speak according to what is in his heart. For the Bible said, out of the abundance of the heart, the matter speak it. Church, are we talking? Yes, sir. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 34. Matthew 12, 34. Matthew 12, 34. Oh, generation of viper, how can you be able to speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You see that? Out of the concealing of your mind. Hello? Hi. Out of the concealing of your mind, the mouth speak. You don't just speak. If you want to know a man who he is, it's based on how the man is talking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because if you think success, you must speak success. If you think success, you must do what? Speak success. It is the success thinking that produces success talking. I get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Look up to me. I do not think failure. And because I do not think failure, I do not talk failure. And because I do not think failure, I do not talk failure, I will never fail. Everybody pay attention, please. Because I do not think failure, I will not talk failure. Because I do not talk failure, I will not fail. Because it starts from the heart. The Bible said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. That is Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. You cannot think one thing and become another thing. Listen to me. You are a product of your thought. In fact, the life you are living today is as a result of your thinking of yesterday. Your thinking of today will produce who you will be tomorrow. I take it again. It is your thinking of yesterday that shaping who you are today. Whatsoever you are today is as a result of your thought of yesterday. Who you are going to be tomorrow is as a result of today's thinking. Big men or to be a big man do not happen overnight. It is big man thinking that produces big man. It is failure thinking that produces pooper. Tell me a man you know that keeps speaking failure, keep acting in a failure, and let her become a successful man. You will never see. Any man that is successful today is a man that has been thinking about what? Success. It's a man that has been speaking success. It's a man that has been acting what? Success. Success don't come overnight. It doesn't come by wishing. It comes by having the thought in your mind, saying it out, and working it out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What you think is what you become. You can't think failure and suddenly become successful. And you can't think success and end up a failure. No. So, it is your thoughts that can either make you or make you. It is your thoughts, the ongoings in your heart, that can that will make you or make you. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. Genesis 11, verse 6. Genesis 11, verse 6. Genesis 11 verse 6. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Listen to this. These are group of men on earth. They have never seen such magnificent edifices before. They haven't seen such a dangerous tower before that we climb up to heaven. But they imagined it in their heart. They saw the picture in their mind and they said we are going to do it. And they began to do it. The Bible said God came down and saw that they have imagined and are determined to do it and nothing will stop them from doing it. If God didn't come down, they would have done it. Imagination. 
it is your imagination that determines or set the pace for your destination. Your imagination is what set the pace for your destination. You must imagine it. A man without any imagination will never succeed. You must be pregnant with a vision. You must be pregnant with a goal. You must have an individual objective to satisfy. Say, I hear. I hear, sir. You must have something this year that is in your mind you want to achieve. No achievement can come without you setting out something that you want to achieve. That is it. Papa Oyedebo said something on how he began to build university. He said he went to U.S. and saw and entered the campus of Oral Robert University. And he saw what the man built. He saw magnificent edifice. And he said to himself, by then he hadn't one naira in his pocket. By then his ministry hadn't started booming. He said, if a man can do this kind of thing in the U.S., I shall do it in Nigeria. He was pregnant with it. And he began to say it. And he began to plan for it. And today, he has about three universities. That will be your story in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, you will be pregnant with something. Every successful man you see today was a poor man yesterday. No man was born with dollars in his hand. No man was born with millions in his hands. It is the working out. It is the pregnancy of a millionaire in your heart that will produce you to become what? A millionaire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wherever you are today, the little success you have made was as a result of the pregnancy of that success yesterday. The picture, the mental picture you carry in your head is what you come that what came up to become who you are today and those of you not making it it was as a result of the poor or no vision of yesterday that is shaping where you are now but the truth of the matter is that whenever a man wake up that is his own money and that is why we are saying it's a new beginning it's a new world beginning. church am i talking yes sir so, where you find yourself tomorrow is a product of your thought of today. Very important. Don't forget, it is your imagination that set the pace for your manifestation. It is your imagination that set the pace for your manifestation. Listen to this again. Whatsoever thing that is too big for your imagination is also too big for your manifestation. You must have that I can do all this mentality. Let it get into your head that if God can do this, I can also do it. Praise it the Lord. Hallelujah. I was talking to my wife this morning about a new idea. He said, where did you have the money? I said, no. Success comes from the imagination. If you can imagine it, if you can set it right, money can never be a problem. Why? Because our kingdom is a kingdom of faith. Say, I hear. Yes, our kingdom is a kingdom of faith. You know, kingdom of the world is a kingdom where money answered all things. But our kingdom is a kingdom where active faith answered all things. Active one. No wonder why we are active faith members. Because we are faith warriors. We are faith warriors. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. I have done everything, Pastor. But uh, nothing to, are you sure you have done the right thing? That is it. Are you sure? The heart of a man is deceitful and desperately wicked. Stop occupying your mind with wickedness. A heart that is quarrelsome. A nagging heart. A heart that is locked up with lack of love that heart can never produce anything good church am i talking yes. always be a happy man always be a happy man be a man that is very easily to forget to forgive to forget be that kind of man successful people don't keep things in their heart no permanent enemy, no permanent friend. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think this is the slogan of the politicians in Nigeria. No permanent enemy, no permanent friend. Because 
there is something they want to achieve at a particular time. If you are in the same party with them at that time, you are their friend. If you are not in the same party with them, you are not their friend. Because there is an end they want to achieve at that time. Church, are we talking? Yes, sir. That is how successful people live. You know, a lot of people say in this country you can't make it. At the same time, they are praying <laughs> that God should also bless them in the same country. It doesn't work that way. First of all, you must believe in Nigeria. Hello. Hi. Before Nigeria can work for you. One of the problems most Nigerians are passing through is that they don't believe in this country in any way. They talk bad of the country. They want to slaughter the country as if they have another country. And in that same country, they are praying, oh God bless me, in the same country that you have used your mouth to say nothing good comes out of this country. So, it is very important to watch the things we say. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. Do not say things because you have heard people say. Say things from the mind that the Lord has given to you. You are not the crowd. You are not the... You have been separated from the world crowd. Church, are we learning something? Yes, sir. The heart of a man is desperately what? Wicked. Your success is determined on the ongoing in your heart, the ongoing in your mind. I want you to change the way you think. How do you change the way you think? By thinking, using the Bible as your yesterday. Whatsoever the word of God says, think about them. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 says, For whatsoever thing that is pure, let's read it. Philippians 4 8. Philippians 4 8. If you are there, say I'm there. Philippians 4 8. If you are there, say I'm there. Okay, if you're not there, say, wait for me. Wait for me. Oh, oh, we must be Bible students. We must be scholars. I didn't come to church with Bible. Can I see your hand up? I didn't come with Bible. Thank God we all have Bible here. I love that. Okay, open it now. Philippians 4, 8. Are we there now? Yes. Okay, I read. Finally, brethren, what's... Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be virtue and if there be any praise, he said, Think on these things, think on these things. Never you think of frivolities, never you think on how to poison, never you think on how to do evil. Never you think on how to read. Never you think on how to do any man evil. But be success minded. Be successful minded. That is how to be what successful. You must have a vision. You must have what? A vision. You must have an individual end. Be pregnant with the dream this year. I keep saying it. A lot of us are here this year with that vision. This is our year of sowing like ego, but you will not sow without vision. What actually, write it down. What actually do you want to accomplish this year? Write it, read it every day. In fact, write it too. One should be where you see it every day or every two, two days. Go back and write. Be pregnant with what you want to achieve this year. December will soon come. December will soon come. 12 minus 2, how many remaining? It's 10, right? Yes. Hello. Hi. We have subtracted 2 from the 12. Merry Christmas is coming. How are you planning? If you must travel December, it's now. Where do you want to be? How do you want to expand your business? How do you want to enter the school? How do you want to have first class? It is now. Listen to me. To become a first class, you need first class study. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's only in Nigeria that people have first class without working hard. 
It is only in Nigeria that people will have nine A but cannot spell their name. Because Nigeria, everything is possible. Especially for the wrong ones. Hello. Hi. How many of you here know that in Nigeria examination my practice, the, the sentence is 21 years imprisonment? How many of you know? I think they should even reduce it. Because in 21 years, but majority are doing it. And nothing is happening. But the day they will take you to court, that's when they will interpret the law for you. <laughs> so we must be the best. In order to be the best, we must study as a student to be the best. It takes first class study to become a first class student. It takes a billionaire thinking to become a billionaire. It takes a billionaire business to become a billionaire. Before you want to become this billionaire you want to be, you must sit down to think of what you can do that will give you billions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you must pursue them. And you must do what? Pursue them. Never you always sit down to say, I know God will do it. I know God will do it without plan. No. That is dreaming. <laughs> I know God will do it. That you don't have any plan. Some of you are in contact God without plans. Some of you are in contact God roaming around. When they break, you sleep and sleep away your destiny. When they break, you sleep and sleep away your what? Destiny. It's a very wrong thing. No lazy man can amount to anything. What laziness will lead you to is begging. Now, if you don't have plan, you will soon blame God tomorrow. But whether you blame God or you don't blame God, it doesn't change God. Say, I hear. Our God is a good God. He's a good God. When you blame God, those that have experienced God will say, shut up. This is my God. We can't succeed in painting God black because whether you paint him blue or black or green, God remains who? God. The provisions of God are permanent. I get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All you must do is to hook up. You must hook up with it. You must follow the right path. The Bible, the Word of God, is our vision book. It's our success book. He said, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You meditate on them. Be careful to do and to observe all that is written. Then you begin to have good word, success. So success comes by abiding, by playing the ball according to the rules. Because otherwise you'll be disqualified. You will never be disqualified in Jesus' name. Amen. When your imagination is established, then your destination is secured. Proverbs 23, verse 7. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat, drink, said he, but his heart is not with thee. See that? As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So, if I want to know what is in your mind, just give me a time. By the time I interview you, to know your visions and your aspirations. I can tell who will be a big man or not based on what is coming, based on your master plans. If I ask you your plan, then I will know that man, not just your plan, but what and what you are doing to make sure that that plan is being worked at your life. Then I will tell you a man or a woman that will either make it or not make it. Church, are we talking? Yes, sir. What you say, listen to this, what you say is a direct expression of what you think. What you say is a pointer to who you are. Because it is not every thinking that produces results. So it is the right thinking that produces good eh, results. One Chinese slogan, it's a good thinking, good work, product. Good thinking, good work, product. For a mic, when you see a classical microphone, portable microphone, microphone of 10 million, then you know it took 10 million thinking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The 10 million, I found this, I found that, is how much? Say 1 million, 3 million. You know, the quality of that phone 
is as a result of quality thinking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is something in that phone that other phones don't have. It is good thinking that produces good product. The value of a car is in the function of the car. Is it not true? Yes. We have car of 1 million. We have car of 32 million. We have car of 11 billion. Okay? Now, the worth of that car is the function of the car. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you see a car of 1 million, and the car of 32 million. The difference, enter inside and drive the car. You will know the difference. Church, are we talking? Yes, sir. It's the value. Add value to your life. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Yeah. Add value, add value. To, your to your life. How do you add value to your life? You add value to your life by improving yourself. You are a furniture man. Also look at the modern furniture going on. Praise it the Lord. Hallelujah. The one that has been there since you learn work, it don't change. I am a shoemaker. Change the type of shoe where they do before you learn the time you learn work. And the type of shoe they are doing now, are they the same? So you don't base on what you know. Try to know more to add to what you already know. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. That is why after having first degree, you want to have masters. That is why after having masters, you want to have PhD because you want to improve yourself. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. Don't work in Nigeria. But I tell you, there are industries looking for jobs, for, for workers, sorry. There are industries looking for workers. No job in Nigeria, but I tell you that companies are still looking for the best. If you are somebody that can change every company, they will hire you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Hello. Hi. Don't just fold your hand and say no job. There is job. Those that they are looking for the best. Somebody that can change the company. Somebody that can do better. Try to be exceptional in the things you do. One of the ways to be exceptional, exceptional one, you must be filled with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the master, is the greatest teacher. Number two, you must improve yourself by reading books. Look at related books. Don't just read jobs. Read quality books. I think this ministry have books that you can read and improve yourself. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. Hello. Hi. Read books. Number two, three. You must associate yourself to people who are where you want to be. Are you writing these things out at all? You must associate yourself with those that are that place that you want to be. Praise the Lord. Amen. You find out what and what did they do. If possible, ask them questions. Sir, you are in this field. You are into furniture. And now you have a warehouse. Sir, how did you get there? Because you want to own a warehouse also. And the man can tell you little or four stories. One or two or three or four. Read their books. There are people that are there. Read their books. Read their ideas. How did they get there? Did they get there by wishing or there is a walk? Follow their path of life. You know, I like listening to Oyedepo. He said before he started this ministry, he read about 39 biography of men and women of God who were there before he came. 39 of them studied them. What is their ministry? What was their calling? How did they start it? Why, why are they where they are now? He said when he gathered all this information, he applied it. And today you can see him. Is it not so early? Hello. Hi. Is he really so early? Yes. Okay. That is how you should apply to the principle, hook up to the visions of those who we are there that you want to be. As you do that, God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. See, everything is not by prayer. This year you can pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. You may not see result. Because there are prayable things and there are doable things. Praying without planning is playing without knowing. You are playing. Should they say they play? You are playing. Because you are not planning, but you are playing. You are praying. 
Oh God, do it. Oh God, do it. And God will say, I want to do it. Oh, do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. I want to do it. You know, God will not cry with you. But he said, I'm ready, son. Do something. Because you must try your offer for God to deliver it into your hands. Yes. George, am I talking? Yes, sir. There are many prayer warriors. So prayer is not the fundamental key. It's not at all. Prayer alone is not the fundamental key to your success. So it's one of them. Prayer is there, but not the fundamental key. The fundamental key is that your thoughts defines your mission. No matter how hard you pray, and how many days you fasted, the word of God cannot be broken. Cannot be what? Broken. The Bible said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so you see. So, your fasting can't break the scriptures. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of her life. What life offer you is traceable to what goes on in your heart, or what make out of your thoughts. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Proverbs 4, 23. Open your Bibles. Proverbs 4, 23. Proverbs 4, 23 said, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Keep your heart, guide it. Because all the issues of your life is in your heart. Guide your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of what? Life. Church, are we talking? Yes, sir. There is more to success than hard work, skills, strength, or strong will. There is more to it than work, hard work. It's not all hard work. It's not all work, hard work. It's not, sorry, it's not just by working hard because the top pushers would have been the richest if it is by hard work. If you see the energy they use in pushing this truck, success is a mental work, it's a mental work, brain work, not by physical strength. If it is by physical strength, all these boxers and the Uber wrestlers would have been the richest in the world, but they are not. Because it's not all about how successful or how skillful. Okay? No. It's not by strength. It's not by goodwill. But of the mind. Of the mind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. The key to success thought. Let's consider, within a short time close, the key to success thought. If you think successfully, you will succeed. You don't allow impossibility to cloud your mind. Never you allow impossibility to rule your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Have a positive mentality. Have a positive word mentality. Church, am I talking? Yes. How the I can do all this mentality? Let it sink in your mind. If God say, always say to yourself, if my God can do this, I can also do it. If God can do it, I can also do it. If God were to be a native of Nigeria, will God make it in this situation? If the answer is yes, then you too can make it in this country. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If Jesus were to be a native of Nigeria in the flesh now, if Jesus were to be a human being, can he make it? If the answer is yes, then you too can make it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No matter how hard the situation, if Jesus is there, he will make it. He showed it. When he was ministering, there was no food, right? He asked them, what do we do? They said, ah, Bible said he was tempting them to know what is in their heart. They said, even 10 million naira worth of bread will not be enough. But there is somebody here that have five loaves of bread and two fishes. He said, bring it. And he used it to feed the crowd. Praise the Lord. So the same God is in you. Amen. All things are what? Possible. Possible. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. neighbor. In this time, in this, time. In this critical moment, in this, in this situation in Nigeria, in you must make it. You, must make it. you are not saying it the way I want. Say, neighbor. neighbor. You are making it. You are making it. No matter the odds. No Circumstances not withstanding. Amen. 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 
a semantic get in his heart, so he is. If God cannot fail under this condition, me too, I will not fail. That is how to consolidate your success thought in every challenge. In every challenge. You size up the challenge with the word of God. Use the word of God to size, to match the challenge. And you see, you come out of it victorious. David said <laughs> to Goliath, you see, David said to Goliath, you come to me with spare. I come to you in the name of who? God. The God of the army of the Israel you are defiling will enable me to cut your head. And he shared his testimony. He said, God has enabled me to kill a lion. God has enabled me to kill a bear. That same God will help me to bring down your head. You see that? That is a strong mind. That's a strong mind. And at the end, what happened? The head of Goliath was brought down because he imagined it. Because he did what? He imagined it from the heart. Looking at the side, David should run away because he was like a rat. When Goliath saw David, Goliath laughed to scoff. He said, Child, you people have demeaned me. I thought, Am I a dog? That you are bringing a rat. And I'm sure that the Philistines will be happy. They say, Win fast, win fast. You don't know. You don't know. A man with God is with what? Majority. You are with majority. Yeah. You will not die this year. Yeah. Even if a cup of God is 10,000 naira, you will buy and dash people. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You will not borrow money to pay house rent. Yeah. You will not be stranded. Amen. You will never be frustrated. Amen. Your God is your light. Amen. And your light must shine this season in Jesus' name. Amen. David knew his God. And the Bible said, Them that know their God shall do what? Exploit. And David was able to kill the man that others were running away. When he saw Goya, the Bible said he ran. He did not allow Goya to come. Before Goya, he ran towards him and captured the, the idiot who was defiling the camp of heaven. I don't know what is challenging you. I want you to face them squarely. I am I'm saying, he who fight and run away will live to fight again. Problem you didn't solve is still waiting for you. So confront every problem with the power of God in you. Amen. How the I can do all this mindset? It is all about your mindset. David stepped out against Goliath and he bring down his head. This year you will bring down the head of your enemy. Amen. This month is your month. Amen. You will make it. Amen. Oh, you need a positive mind. You need it. You need a mind of success, you need it. A defeated mind, see, no matter the type of dream you are having, your dream cannot replace the word of God for your life. I am not saying, yes, sir. even if you dream yourself, you see yourself in the gasket, that is not you. That is not you. What does the word of God say? The word of God say, you will live, you will not die. You will live to proclaim the goodness of God. You will not die young. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, that is not your portion. You will live on your end. Because you are here for a mission. If you know what I'm saying is to shut the big amen. I have seen many skillful people become failures. I have seen strong people crash out on their own weight. But if God be for us, nobody can be against us. God is never to be blamed for all the bad things happening to you. He's not even the cause in the first place. We know who is the cause. That man is Satan the devil and we must resist him. Amen. You must discover the reasons why you are where you are. When you discover this, you want to apply yourself to it. Then God will begin to make a way for you. Your thoughts are much more vital than your works. Your thought is important than your works. It is important than the value of your work. For as a man thinketh, so he is. By strength shall no man prevail. 
This means that strength is not a principal factor in the school of success. It is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that show it the mercy. So you need this God. Say, I need my God. I need my God. Your will is not also a factor in the school of success. Your skill is not a factor. Your strength is not a factor. Your smartness is not a factor. But your thoughts are the principal factors in the school of uh, success. Yes. Church, am I talking? Yes, yes, sir. It will only be impossible when you are working it on your own. When you are working it with God, then impossibilities will surely be what? Possible. Before you think of things not working well for me, think about your attitude. You must change your character. You must change your what? Character. You must change your behaviors. Most of us have very bad character and we want things to work well. Most of you, we are sacked in your place of work because of bad character. Bad character. You talk too much. You gossip too much. No company like a gossip. If the person is a married man, you want to cause trouble between the man and the wife. Eh? If the person is a young man that just married you, you want the man to marry to you and the wife at the same time. You want to wear naked things and mother say, if this one begins to wear like this, you will take my. That's how the woman will start hating you for no cause. One day, it will form you one that you did not do and put it on your head. Anywhere you go, just like that. You must change the way you think. Have a positive attitude. Change your bad character. God, listen, this is very important. God will give you job, but your character will keep it. Hello? Hi. God will not see. God will give you business, but your character will make your business associate to like you. I get what I'm saying? Yes. When you are too harsh with your customers, they will leave you. Even if your goose is the best, they will leave you. When you talk rough, when you talk carelessly, when you treat them anyhow, even if you are the best, they will abandon you. But there is a way you handle customers, they will come next time. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's the time I went to buy something. Sit me down before I know. Time is wasting. And I'm going back to Monaco very far away. Before you know, a, a, a bottle of drink came. Sir, I'm sorry. The man telling you, sir, I'm sorry. If you see the car, you go wrong. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, I know. Just be patient. Don't be. But if you see how the boys are making guys, but the man, because the man has brain, he knows what it takes to return to customers. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is how you see some owners of shops. If you see them, they have their pan, they don't. If you see them, you really think that their sellers are even the owners of the company. Because they know what it takes to get where they are. You will get there. Amen. The word of God is God's thought and print. If you want to know the thoughts that God has towards you, go to the Bible. The Bible contains the will of God for your life. Some of you say, I don't even know what to do again. What to do is in the Bible. Read it. A man was dying. He began to discover that his children don't love God. He put his will in the Bible. They have three children. First child in the will. Second in the Bible. Third in the Bible. And as he was about dying, he called the three of them according to their position. The first son. He called the first son and gave him a Bible. Called the second son and gave him a Bible. Called the third son and gave him a Bible. And then, as they went, he said, This is my will for you people. And they were very angry because the man was very rich. They were so angry. This one told the Bible. This one, second down. The third one, second down. This was a take. Don't need Bible. They, they gathered the will, that's the Bible, and gave to the child. That, that thing is different versions of the word Bible. As the child begins to read them, he finds the first will. Because they left angry. He was really, he find out that this child now have the three wings for himself. Praise the Lord. Amen. What am I talking? There are treasures in the Bible. There are treasures in the Bible. Everything you need in life is here, here, here. The book of the law is there. Read them, study them, and they will give you what you want. The pastor is not to give you what you want. 
No man can give you what you want. It is only God through His word that can give you what you want. Oh, yes. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. Remember, God is no respecter of any color. He is not a respecter. As it happened in the U.S., it will happen in Nigeria. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. Faith works everywhere. Faith works everywhere. everywhere. What God cannot do does not exist. What He can do in Nigeria, He can do in the U.S. What He can do in the U.S., He can do in Australia. All you have to do is to position yourself to receive from Him. May the Lord bless His word and make you a champion. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stand to your feet as we pray.